Okay, so I'm just going to finish this off. Um, at the end of the last video, I was trying to get this lighting tool up, um, but sometimes these tools get lost in CryEngine, uh, and if they do, then you have to like delete the basically reset the um, reset everything to its default values, which uh, you, you just need to delete a registry key. So if it happens to you, just like look it up on the on the net. There's there's loads of stuff about it. Um, so yeah, so what I wanted to do was I just wanted to move the sun around to be in about the correct position. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it uh, either a bit more in the morning or a bit more in the evening. I'll go a bit more in the evening actually, just so that the sun is a bit lower in the sky. Right there. And then just change the sun direction until I get it in the right spot so about I think over there where was I? Um, okay so this is where my temple is going to go so I want it a bit more round and okay I'm going to have to go that way I think about there is where I was planning on having it. So it should look a bit more natural now, the landscape in terms of the the way that the shading is falling on these rocks. So you can see like where these were kind of lit up, um, where they had quite a lot of speck on them, now the sun's shining straight on them which is a little bit more natural, a bit more the way it should be. Um, So that's looking good, pretty good, I think. Now um, obviously I probably mess around with the time of day settings a fair bit. Um, in fact I might just get rid of a bit of a bit of the fog. So let's just try that at like point one instead. Um, it's maybe a bit better, and then I might just change the depth of field as well. I'm not a massive fan of like loads of depth of field, so um, what I usually do is just keep it quite the amount quite high, the blur amount quite high, but like move the the range of it a bit further out. Um, so you can see that's like sharpening up our rocks. So I think I want to see these rocks still quite sort of have quite a bit of definition of in them, and then maybe have the depth feel just on these rocks in the more in the distance. So I don't know about there, maybe maybe increase this a bit. Out, out like that. So I know to my eyes that looks a bit better. Um, so that's pretty much everything's ready to go it's for us to start building the our geometry. Um, the only thing is that I think this is going to be. a little hard to build on um, so we could do with flattening out an area here so I'll just flatten that out um, get my flatten tool a bit bigger just like it if you hold down control you'll get uh, your eyedropper and let's just flatten out an area here.
and then I'll just smooth this back out a bit. Okay, I'm not too bothered about what's behind it because this is all going to be blocked by the, the geometry for the temple. So but we've got a kind of nice flat surface to build on now. So this will kind of be our entrance here. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to get an idea of the size of this that I want to build and then I'll stop this video and I'll go over to Max and start modelling. Um, so just quickly I'm just going to put a solid in to here. Um, like like I say, the only reason I'm doing this is just to get a rough idea of kind of the scale of things that I might use and whether it, you know, what looks right. Um, so that's kind of what I'm after. I mean, I, I guess I could build this up as a, a really sort of huge temple building um, that kind of goes off in, you know, comes up into the air and stuff. Um, I'm just going to have it as a little kind of, almost like a little sort of thing that's just jutting out in the distance. Cool. So the only thing I really need to do is make a note of that. Um, so I think I'm going to make my temple about 60 metres by about 40 um, and maybe about 8 high. So I'll make it a bit bigger than what I've got here. Right, uh, so that's it for this bit of the tutorial um, in terms of creating your terrain and kind of doing a little bit of white boxing. Um, so obviously what we could do is we could, you know, we could kind of put some solids in for the rest of this, um, for, you know, for little temples jutting out of all different bits of the, the terrain. Um, actually, one thing I am going to do is, I might try to just bring this water up so that it kind of fills this bowl, or I might get rid of it. I'm just going to see which one looks better. So, go into my terrain and uh, modify um, set ocean level. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just pick a height. So about there. So the height of this bit of terrain here was was 77. Um, so I'll set that for my ocean. So, I don't know, I think that looks weird actually. Um, so instead, I'll just, in fact, I'll just um, remove ocean. And CryEngine's crashed again, but. We'll leave it at that. Cool.